flight control. While there's a lot of technology involved, it makes you think of big airliners. But today we're talking about the UAS, unmanned aircraft systems. And we want to give you a quite different perspective. I remember the times when I was little and climbed on trees to enjoy the bird's eye view. Parents always told us, the higher you climb, the deeper you can fall. Well, that's true. But today, we have a different perspective. We don't need railroads and cranes to make our footage look like Hollywood productions. Today, we don't need to climb on trees. We approach them by air. And the best part is, the camera looks like sitting on a tripod, completely stable and smooth. Today, I want to explain to you how that works. What makes this fascinating aerial photography possible? Well, it's a combination of GPS-controlled movements of your drone and a little device inside it. This little thing is called the gyro. And although we don't know exactly why it works, the gyro controls a completely level horizon. The GPS works with satellites to control the position of your aircraft. The gyro works with rotation. When it spins, it keeps the position of your camera level. No matter how wind or the pilot moves it around. This is a gyroscope. It consists of a metal wheel mounted on an axle. The wheel and axle spin freely, secured in a metal frame. This simple device can behave in the most unexpected ways. The components of this simple mechanism are obvious, and it doesn't seem to have any special capabilities. Try to stand it on end and it falls over. Try to suspend it like this and it drops. Apparently it can't defy gravity but spin the wheel and all that changes. The first thing I notice about the spinning gyroscope is that it resists attempts to change its position. A resistive force appears when I attempt to tilt or rotate the gyro. Now when I stand it on the tabletop, it stays vertical. The spinning wheel is creating a force that holds the gyroscope upright. When the wheel stops, the force disappears and the gyroscope falls. Incredibly, this force will support the gyroscope like this. It appears to be levitating. Physicists have determined that a rotating wheel has angular momentum similar to the momentum that a stone flying through the air has. To change the direction of the stone, 
requires a force. Similarly, changing the orientation of the rotating wheel requires force. The spinning wheel prefers to stay oriented as it is, and it resists any attempt to change that orientation. In modern aircraft, an inertial guidance system uses spinning gyroscopes to monitor and control the orientation of the aircraft. The gyroscope is suspended in a special cage that allows it to maintain its orientation independent of the aircraft's position. If the aircraft rolls, electric sensors and contacts connected to the gyro send information to the pilot about the aircraft's orientation. Now try to land a GPS-controlled drone or other aircraft on a moving object. That's quite tricky you will face what Albert Einstein's relativity really means. When you let go on the controls, the drone is instructed by the satellites, you are there and you stay there, but your boat moves. So do not try this with your own drone, unless you are very experienced, you will run into trouble. Thank you for watching and if you have time just visit us at relaxfl.com or check out our newest exhibits on YouTube by searching for Ambula Videos.